Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to the Unmodded Challenge Zoo. Um, picking up where we left off, it's actually been a little while since I've played this, so I just took a couple minutes to sort of re-familiarize myself with everything that's going on. I also went around the zoo and named all the animals as per your suggestions, so just go, go through that really quick. Um, starting over here with the Ibex. I'll actually go to this list to make it easy. Um, the Ibex is now or now Caleb and Joanna. Um, I didn't name the Gems box. I don't think there was any suggestions for that. I named the baby camel. I named um, four of the musk ox, Butch, Buck, Betsy, and Anna. And there's the two babies. Well, one this one's actually grown now, but I haven't named those. I think I need to expand their exhibit eventually. The Gems box apparently need more space, which I think is kind of weird, but I can look at that. Uh, Nina, Joan, or Joan, and Lawrence for the Oryx, and then I, re I named the rest of the um, Peafowl as well. So, um, I don't know what to do with the Gemsbug. I don't know why they need more space. It they doesn't seem like they should to me. Um, but I'm also considering just making this all one exhibit. So. I might end up doing that sooner rather than later. For now, I think they're probably fine, though. Um, what I'm going to do in this episode is really quick, I'm going to build an exhibit for some Thompson's Gazelle so we can finish um, that objective that we have. So, delete some of this stuff that's in the way we don't need. I'm going to build that right here, I think. Hmm, but at the same time, uh, yeah, we'll do it right here. So, let's go ahead and grab some path. And we want this one. Okay, but I want to sort of like mirror this on the other side. So, let's see if I can't do that. Um, this hopefully will look okay. Say they want playgrounds and statues and all that. Whatever, I can get to that eventually. Um, I do want to finish this challenge before I do anything else. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Um, I really was, I really am enjoying it as well. I just kind of. Shut up, I don't care about your space. Um, I kind of just was doing other things, so I haven't really been um, working on this zoo in a while, but I definitely want to get back to it. So that's what I'm doing. I think I'm going to use the same fence here. Um, so I think I'll do, and I want this to be kind of a mirror image thing. Which actually, let's go ahead and do this. This would come off right here. One more. Like that, right? Yeah, okay. And then this would continue down there. And then I'll put I'll fill in this little space here with some other stuff. We could put some more of these. Bam, bam. Put some garden stuff in there. It'll look pretty nice. Okay, so. Um, now the actual exhibit. Let's get those fences that we want. Should be like right here, right? And Nina is now pregnant. Who's Nina again? That is oh, an orcs. Okay. Let's see. Um, I want to get these gates in. And then I'm going to need to get um, some path going down there. I think I'll make this one a little bit smaller than the other one. I also have to put walls on the back on this one, so that'll cost me a little bit more, unfortunately. Hopefully I can get away with making this around this size. And then using, continue to use this desert rail fence, because I do really like it. Um, now let's see, we got the Thompson's Gazelle. Let's 
So let's see, what do they need? I know they're gonna need tropical savanna, obviously, or just I guess it's just savanna in this game. <laughs> I no longer have a radical remake installed right now, so um, it's just called savanna, and it looks pretty good. Let's see about a shelter. Already got this one unlocked, so let's put that there. Um, plants, we'll put a few. I don't really like those ones. Let's go. I don't really like that either. I don't know if I like any of those. Let's get some trees. Uh, this tree I do like, so let's put a few of those around. I'll put some food. I'll put the tro water trough or trowel, however you say it. Oh, uh, we have no money. That's not good. Um, let's go and delete a few plants that are around just to give us a little bit of an extra boost. Uh, it's not going to be enough to actually do too much, but it will give us something. I don't mind clearing this. Oh, great. The month just rolled over, so now we have no money. <sighs> That's not good. We should be okay. Um, this shouldn't be like this for too long. We should get back in the positive before not too long here. Um, yeah, see, it's already going down. Stop running away like a weirdo. Get back here. Get over there. I do want to fence these people in. I swear they're no better than the animals. Probably worse, actually. Um, they're not making a mess over here, are they? No, it looks pretty clean. Um, that's good. What's your problem? You need to eat. Well, let's buy something. There's all these places right here. Joe needs more space. Wait a sec. Oh, I see what's wrong. You're not supposed to be in here. You're supposed to be. Over there. There we go. See, I don't. Rem I knew there was no problem with space before. So are the orcs? Okay? Yeah, everyone's fine now. Okay, that makes more sense. For some reason, she snuck into the uh, the Gemsbach exhibit. I don't know how, unless I accidentally put her in there. I don't remember doing that. Who knows? But at least we got that settled. Okay, so what is going on here? Everyone looks. Fairly satisfied. We're now in the positive again, as far as money is concerned. Let's get, now Caleb needs more space. Why do you need more space? Oh, because she just popped out a baby. Um, I might sell this. I don't really want to. Well, not sell it, but put it up for adoption. Venus is pregnant. Oh, man, these animals are just breeding like crazy. Um, at least the, even the, mu the muskox as well like they're they're the worst offenders but at the same time they're fine with the big herd you know the space doesn't bother them so I'm okay just sort of leaving them I just need to name the other guys in there um, I might have to so is this a, it's a female yeah I think I'm gonna have to put up for adoption don't really want to but I need their space satisfied it probably would have been better to wait till it grows up and then um, release into the wild, but um, I do need to think about expanding that exhibit at some point in the near future. So, I do have a little money now. It's probably not enough to do a whole lot with. So let's see what we can do. Nonetheless, um, how much are these guys? Wow, they're actually not cheap. Kinda sucks. I would think since they're like one of the most basic animals in the game that they'd be fairly inexpensive, but apparently that's not the case. Hmm. There's really nothing I can sell though. I just sort of have to wait until my money goes oh I guess I could just get you know, I just let's get rid of all of this up here. This will be a nice chunk of change. Uh, actually, not quite as much as I was hoping. Um, if I do get rid of all this, it will help as well, though. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Wait. Okay. Um, right now, we're doing pretty good. I think I can probably get these in here now. Just need. One female, 
one male. Okay. Uh, but I didn't put food in there. Okay, so we gotta make sure we get. Yeah, their food's not cheap. This is pretty cheap. Put one of those. And I wanna put one of these. I'm just gonna wait until that goes up. The money does. Uh, any toys I could put in there? Salt liquid makes sense. That's pretty expensive. Uh, let's go ahead and get this now. And oh, a zookeeper. They're gonna need a zookeeper. Let's look at my staff actually and see who's doing what. Okay, so he's doing all this stuff over here. I wonder if he can handle one more. I think he's gonna have to. I don't think I can afford to hire another zookeeper. Well, maybe I should. Who's doing this one over here? Is anybody doing this one? Let's find out. So what are your three assignments? Okay, those are the Ibex, the Muskox. Okay, yeah, nobody's doing that one over there, so I think I should get another zookeeper. Um, it's gonna be a. It's not optimal because it's gonna be a little bit spread out. Um, but he's gonna have to do this one, and he's gonna have to come down here. I guess it's she, huh? And do this one. So, like I said, not optimal, but it's kind of the way it has to be at the moment. Okay. Oh, I could put some rocks in here. Rocks are nice. A little rock there. Rock there. Fox, uh, Musk Ox 5 is probably not great. Um, and then we'll just give him one of these. There. Looks pretty good. And now I'm going to drop down here with my camera. And watch out. So I think that means, yes, your journal, or the journal loved your photos. They have paid 2250 for the photos and you are sure to gain increased popularity as a result of the published article. That is what I like to see. Um, excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, so get me out of here. Uh, money's looking good now. And let's see, I should get a new challenge pretty soon as well. So yeah, everything is looking good. Guess love your zoo. Well, they should love our zoo. Two and a half stars. That's pretty good. Um, Anna is going to give birth. Who's Anna? Oh, most dogs. Again. Okay, she can go ahead and do that. Give her some privacy. Um, what do we got going on over here? I'd like to maybe make this area look a little nicer, but I don't think I have the space to do that. How long, let me check how long we've been recording real quick. Not that long actually, we still have time. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take the money that I got from these Thompson's Gazelle and build a new exhibit. So and I wanna do a exhibit for my favorite animal, the American Bison, but I don't know where I wanna put it. I think I wanna put it right across from the Oryx actually, now that I think, or not the Oryx, the Musk Ox. So, Let's go ahead and do that. And I want to use this same fence. So let's go. Oh, wait. I gotta go back a little bit, though. Well, actually, let's first let's draw it out with a path so we know what we're doing. Like that. Like that. Like that. Let's get some of these set up. I don't think I need quite as many as I'm putting, honestly. But whatever. We'll do it anyways. 
Mozart 6 is going to. They seem to mature awfully fast. Okay, and we're going to put some of this stuff. I put a garbage can there. Oh, actually, I don't think I need one right there. Put it over here. We'll put this right there. And we'll put this right there. Right, that works. Um, now we can go ahead and actually build the enclosure. And I hope that this is going to. Ah, eh, we have no money. Uh, Bitsy Betsy's now pregnant. Did it seriously just say that? Where is she? Trying to search through all of these musk ox. A million of them. Oh, wait. Um, okay, Animal Hygiene Association has selected your zoo for a test program for one of your cleaner zoos and zoo animals. You can, if your zoo can go 30 days without any of your animals reaching up, that's a lot of money. I'm going to accept it. We'll see if we're able to do it. I'm worried about those, um, what do you call them? Uh, peacocks. They seem to be always getting everything dirty. So Betsy is now pregnant. Um... The third time, jeez. Okay, let's set this up and see how it's going to look. Let's see, can't go there. Still have no money. All right, great. Well, we're just gonna have to sort of wait it out. In the meantime, let's drop down and sort of clean up these exhibits just to make sure they're not getting too dirty. Um, and then we can do the buffalo exhibit pretty soon. Is that an egg? Yes, it's an egg, jeez. Um, make sure the food looks good as well. Then I'm gonna go over to the other enclosures down there and work on those as well. Okay, looking good, looking good, looking good. What? Wow, that was fast. Well. Okay then. Um, that's a thing. All right, moving on. I guess we'll just go ahead and do this instead. And don't have any money, unfortunately. Um, is this fence cheaper? Yes, it is cheaper, but not by too much. Sorry about that. Just had to take a sip of tea. It is very cold right now, so I am trying to stay warm. And my hands are freezing, but I'll live. Just in case anybody was curious. Probably weren't. Um, I think, wait, who needs more space? Oh, they need more space, which I bet that means, yeah, you must have just hatched. You know what? I'm sorry. Get out of here. Oh, well, had to be done. Um, I think what I'm actually going to have to do is sort of put this bison exhibit on a hold and just let my money build up a little bit because I have no money it's very upsetting but there's nothing I can do about it is that the way I want it to be? maybe That doesn't look right. Yeah, 
that's definitely not right. Let's see that. Let's go like that. And we have no money again. I'm trying to figure out what. Okay, so that's supposed to go there. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of text. I don't want to read. Um, your local city council and animal welfare society want to run a free association. Oh, a free admission promotion. Okay, I know how this one works. Basically, I gotta keep it free um, for one month. And okay, so basically, I'll get five thousand if I keep all my animals healthy. Yeah, we can do this. We can do this. I do get the cash grant right at the start, which is nice. Is that right? I don't think so. Let's change this up. Hold it. Yeah. Um. It looks kind of weird still, but I'll just leave it for now. I don't feel like messing with it. I'd like it to look like this one over here, actually. Which I think I can do. If I go like this. Yeah, there we go. It actually was not hard at all. Okay, so this is all free and everything. Yep, that's good. So, um, we have some money, but now I think I'm actually going to call this an episode and we will finish our musk, no, not muskox, our bison exhibit in the next one. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.